Welcome back to the Bearded Garage. Today we got a little bit of uh, maintenance and hopefully restoration here. Got an RTV 900 with a Boss V plow on the front. Um, this thing is a tank in the snow. I upgraded the wheels and tires, so much more aggressive. Uh, this thing is fantastic. Um, here's, the, here's the problem though. Um, after three, four years, I run into a simple problem. I'll turn the ignition on here try the plow out the controller uh left out left in right uh out but in doesn't work so try a few things on the plow um and figure out what the hell is going on All right, so in order to get to everything here, uh, you gotta pull the plastic cover off. In order to pull the plastic cover off, there's a pin here um, with just a, 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 here, let me show you. I've got a pin, right, and uh, these aren't a cotter pin, whatever they call those. Um, so, so you can pull this cylinder out. Uh, once the cylinder is out, um, you can undo two thumb screws here and here, and the plastic cover comes off. All right, so. Here's what we're looking at. Um, good thing is, they actually give you an idea um, of what everything is. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Uh, so it looks like um, it looks like green is the right wing in, and then orange is lower. So, so here, I'm gonna try cheating a little bit. Here's what we're gonna do. Um, I believe these are all grounds behind. So brown is ground, brown is ground. So let's show you what I got here. I think these are individual valves. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna actually take the green one, right? I'm gonna pull it off and I'm gonna swap it with uh, the orange one, which is right next to it. And if that's the case, uh, if that works, then uh, turn the ignition on. Theoretically, now if I press down, all right, the wing comes in. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Well, kind of good. Well, not really good, I guess. Okay. All right. So let's switch that back before we forget. All right. So what that means to me is it means the valve is good. The hydraulics are good. But there's something wrong with this green cable. Uh, so either the green cable is bad. Uh, really, I guess I got three or four choices. The green cable can be bad to, to the plug. The green cable can be bad from the plug. Let's see what's in here. The green cable can be bad um, back to the controller. Yep, to here, or the green, or the, the controller could be bad, which would really suck. Uh, those things are insanely expensive. So I'd actually prefer it's a hydraulic cylinder at this point. Um, all right, so I pulled out the uh, the multimeter. Um, next, we're gonna try testing continuity, and I'll let you know what we find and how we determine what the problem is and what the fix will be. All right, I grabbed the multimeter. I pulled the green cable off. Um, I pulled the plug end off. And on the plow side, I'm sticking it in this top one, which the pinout from their website tells me that's green. So um, I'm just testing now to see if the wire is fine on the plow rig itself. Uh, so if I touch it here, continuity. Okay, so I have continuity there. Now I'm gonna test it from the machine side plug uh, back to where the controller goes. So I've eliminated one piece. All right, the next test is testing the vehicle side. So I've got the meter hooked up. Um, I've disconnected this. It looks like the back center is green. So should. Oh, is it just me? Yeah, that's me not holding it. All right, so there is continuity back to the controller. So 
That means the wire's good, which means the controller's probably bad. Shit. I mean, darn. Now that I have traced it down to the controller, I know the center pin is the green one. And so what I've done is I've disassembled the controller. And when you pull the controller apart, one of the things you'll see is you get these cables on the end. It's just a clip that goes into the handheld controller now. I've done a little bit before I had the camera on here. Um, so I actually tested continuity in this cable itself. And I found that there was no continuity between the green here and the green here. So I looked and there's a crimp in the cable. And when I got into the cable, I noticed almost all of them, I just cut the shielding off, all of them are split. Now I didn't cut anything here. You can see even in where I cut it, there was a crimp in the cable. Um, you can see I cut real nice and easy here. And uh, I didn't make any marks here but there are marks here on these cables so you can see now obviously i stripped a couple because i'm gonna start putting them together but all these cables so that's probably why i had a short a while ago in this unit i'm guessing that's why i had a fuse blow the other day so um, i called boss none of the distributors have this cable um, in stock unfortunately i can buy a whole controller for 400 dollars um, what I'm gonna do is just buy the replacement cable and order it here, except we have a foot of snow coming tonight. So I'm gonna put them all together with these uh, heat shrink solder units and go from there. I'm gonna show you what I got. Yeah, it looks like those uh, uh, heat shrink solder connectors were all old and crusty, so I just used butt end connectors. All right, I have rewired this now. I know what you're going to say, what is what in the redneck shit is this? Um, I'm going to explain it to you. So um, all the pieces here, um, I just didn't have enough. I couldn't put the shrink wrap back on it. Um, I don't want to just flop it around. And because this piece is so far, these, these connections are so uh, close to the head, the handle doesn't fit back on. Um, I already have a new cable, uh, but it's going to be a week before it even gets here. So... I taped the cable to a to a shim, and then I taped another shim to the back so it doesn't wobble around. It's nice and solid. Um, now we're gonna try it out and see what she looks like. All right, hopefully, hopefully. All right, she's plugged in. Ignition is on. Lights come on. That's the first good thing. Ah, up works. Woohoo! Out. In, out, in, ah, and down. This bad boy's good to go. Awesome. There's another quick video here at the Bearded Garage. Thanks for tuning in as we uh, figured out the wiring on this plow. Um, yeah, we came up with a redneck solution for now, but I'm getting a foot of snow tonight, so I don't want to go without having a plow on this thing. Um, I think I got eight or nine driveways to do in the morning, so... Uh, thanks for tuning in. Hit your hit like, uh, smash subscribe, or smash like, hit subscribe, one or the other, and uh, see what else got going on. Thanks.